Welcome to the Fox 35 Sports Zone. I'm Adam Shadoff. We're going to get to some Mackenzie Milton news in just a minute. But first, it's been a magical season for Rollins baseball, and it's going to continue this weekend at the D2 College World Series. Sports reporter Jessica Ely has the story. This was the moment Rollins baseball punched its ticket to the D2 College World Series after beating second-ranked Tampa 13-6 on Saturday. Our kind of team mantra, team motto was we're not going to give up, but we're not going to think too highly of one team or think too down upon one team. You know, we all have to play the same nine innings. This will be the Tars' first appearance in the baseball championships since 2004. It's definitely something special. We've had a, I mean, it's been one crazy year. We've dealt with adversity all year. It's kind of like our team model, team motto. We've just been battling adversity. When one thing comes, we just find a way to fight through it. Rollins has had to learn how to roll with the punches. About halfway through the season, fans were not allowed at the Tars home games because of structural issues here at the stadium. And now they have to practice at nearby Lake Highland Prep because their turf is undergoing renovations. Been down, we've been up, you know, so we're used to fans, we're used to no fans. We're used to playing on our backfield, we're used to playing on our main field, and we're used to playing at Lake Highland Prep. The Tars are a well-balanced team, excelling in both pitching and hitting. They're hoping to leave Carrie with some big hardware and to also set a solid foundation for the future. We take this as an opportunity not to be like, oh my God, we're here, but to establish a precedent so that this team gets back here next year. From Rollins College, Jessica Ely, Fox 35 Sports. 